Now we are going to look at the skins that we're getting and I'm going to tell you which I think has the best design. Her. Okay, so first and foremost, the Princess Imprisoned. Go, go, vacuum cune might be fu functioning a little. <laughs> I'll fix it right away, so don't worry. So now we have, obviously, a new skin for Lala Satellin Develook, which is uh, interesting. So actually, this is the little robot I was talking about in the, the sh in her ship girl form, like the base outfit. In her rigging, we literally have the vacuum coon, but it's like super, super big. This is the actual normal size of vacuum coon, although I do think it can like grow big or smaller, depending on like... I think it was of those inventions that she can change the size of. It might not be. She has so many inventions, hard to say. Um, and here, obviously, we can see that Vacuum Kuhn is having a little bit of fun. It's interesting to see that Vacuum Kuhn, I, he actually has like hard eyes right now, so he seems to be enjoying himself, uh, which at least somebody's having fun there. Um, and uh, yeah, this is certainly a very lewd skin, I guess. It's certainly on par with what To Love Ru is all about, right? It's a very etchy anime or manga, depending on what like thing you've like uh, watched or read. And uh, th this makes sense. This is literally this is the closest to the the source material that, as we're getting, basically, right? Um, now I think obviously the skin is literally just her getting groped by her own invention and there's not really much else about that she's in very uh it's a kind of like you know like chill casual uh attire it, it's almost very you know it, this could be her pajamas if she wasn't sleeping naked most of the time but yeah she has like uh you know a whatever top that is what's it called again i don't remember a tank top, I guess, and then booty shorts, but the booty shorts is getting, you know, removed because of what's going on here. Anyway, it's more on the edgy side, and while I, I don't mind it, it's not necessarily what I'm looking for when it comes to skins. And um, I think the skin itself, it, like the clothes themselves, are a little bit underwhelming. So basically, if you're getting this, it's just because you like the lewdness of it, and that's pretty much it, right? In my opinion. Um, I mean, her expressions are pretty cute, if, if you like that aspect, uh, definitely. Now, moving on, we have the pajama status on. Commander, uh, why have you entered without my express permission? Prepare to die. <laughs> that is that is very much um, her. Golden Darkness hates etchiness, uh, so that's 100% how she would react in those circumstances. Now, the thing I'm very torn about this skin is that I really like Yabi. And I like her pajama attire, but I, I don't really care about the whole putting on her panty situation going on there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, I just want to look, her to look cute. I, I don't want her to look edgy or anything. So uh, I wish this wasn't part of the thing. I wish she was just in you know, a cute attire and looking adorable. But, you know, I mean, she's looking adorable. I just like, I don't know what to think about like the feet in the first like right here and the pantsu being put on. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I'm very torn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. We have at least... <sighs> at least something going on with the pajamas. Like with our nightgown, I suppose it is. Now, we have some of the sister. A waking dream. Oh my, Commander. Did I wake you? It didn't look very restful. Don't worry, everything's okay now. So, uh, Momo is the girl that keeps, like, getting in bed with the protagonist uh, when he's sleeping to, you know, take advantage of him, I guess. So it seems that she also likes to get in bed with the commander as well, which is very interesting. And here, see, here I feel like this is, this kind of fit I actually prefer. It's less the edginess. And I mean, there is some aspect of edginess, right? Like, she, she's wearing some lingerie there, right? So there, there's enough lewdness without being a little bit over the top, I guess, if that makes any sense. So I do appreciate that, like, she just looks good and it's not like, oh my god, some tentacles is, you know, happening. So I, can't, I really like this, uh, by contrast to the other two, I think. I, I like when the edginess is a bit less obvious, a bit less... Um, like in your face. I like when it's a bit subdued, you know, like she, she's being adorable. And while she's being straightforward, it's not like, ooh, a silly, etchy situation, you know? I'm, I'm basically Golden Darkness. I don't like etchy. <laughs> I don't like 
like it, but like I like spiciness, but not for gags. There, there it is. Now moving on, we have the last of the sister trio, and this is obviously for um, Nana. So that was Momo. And now we have Nana. There you are, Commander. I'm on a real hot streak today. Wanna come play with us and test your skills? So here she is very much like her sisters. This is kind of like the casual outfit. So booty shorts, tank top. Uh, we can see or not see, I guess, the Abuba because she doesn't have much of it. She is, as she called it herself, a petanco, as in a flat chest uh, lady. Uh, she's very self-conscious about it, so yeah, that's an interesting angle for sure. But uh, we see a lot of everything here, and I actually think that this one is pretty nice, right? Um, because I think it, it's cute, it shows her impish nature. Uh, I think our outfit is cute. We do like booty shorts, yes sir. Uh, we can see a little bit of bubble butt thighs. We can see her sister, they're playing card, her sister is losing, obviously. And I think this skin really shows the character and her mischievousness, mischievousness at times, and I really like that. To be fair, all the skins so far are very high quality and they do show um, what kind of characters they are. So I will say that, regardless of like the situation and the poses, uh, I think they did uh, show the the essence of the characters very well for this collaboration. Now, that's pretty much it for this. Now, we those were all the SSR for the collab, and we still have the elite ones. So, those one actually kind of happy about those because I feel like the two elites, being Haruna and Kotegawa, in the collab they're literally just in their school uniform, and I think it's you know it's a bit whatever. Um, I mean, school uniform is a thing. I know a lot of people like them, but I I, I think it's kind of... Um, I don't think it looks that cool. So it's nice that we have some very cute stuff here. So here we have On a Serene Night. I made some black tea, Commander. We, we could drink it together if you'd like. These are my favorite tea leaves. So here she is... Uh, by the way, this does not look like tea. This looks like coffee. Um, the, this is... The, this is coffee. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I think this is very cute. I think this, this show how like innocent and pure and sweet she is. You know, she's the classic childhood friend, obviously, as I say and say again. And here she's just being, you know, very adorable. And she, you know, she's kind of demure um, in the way like she's sitting here. And uh, she has a nice, you know, like a, a bed shirt and she has a little bit of a hoodie on top to make sure she's not cold. And I think she's very adorable. Um, I really like this one. I think it's way, way better than the uh, the base uh, outfit that she has. Um, so I actually really, really like this one, surprisingly. Even though Haruna is not fav necessarily my favorite girl, um, I'm not super into her design. Uh, I prefer like longer hair and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, but uh, I think the outfit and the situation is very good. Now, finally, we have Kotegawa, the disciplinarian's day off. But Commander, hey, don't go barging into people's rooms. Look, you're scaring my new friends. And here we can see um, we have Kotegawa, who is looking... Uh... I mean, she has a see-through uh, shirt, basically, right? Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we get we see a lot here, uh, but I think it's not too much. There's a bit of distance, and she doesn't look like super lewd or anything. So I I think this works very well for her, for like who she is, right? Um, I think that fits the character, and she's very very cute. Um, I will say I kind of like the. I actually really like the uh, her JoJo stand that she has in her rigging. But this outfit is kind of simple, but it works very well for her, in my opinion. Now, she said we're scaring her friend. I, I assume it's the cat, bottom right, that we have. Um, I assume that's what she's talking about, but who knows? I mean, there's nothing else that looks like something that could be her new friend. So I'm going to assume it is supposed to be the cat down here. Um, now, the question is... Amongst all of those collab skins, which ones are my favorite? Which ones are potentially my least favorite? It doesn't mean they are bad. It doesn't mean that I'm like definitely not going to get them. But I do have some preferences like everybody does. And so let's 
use my bias to grade them. So I think, I think, well, I do like her outfits. Unfortunately, I like her design a bit less. So I think Otagawa goes ahead of her. I think Momo actually looks great here. Oh, man. Momo and Nana looks great. <sighs> this thing, I'm so sorry. I think Golden Darkness is best girl, but I think in terms of outfits, in terms of skin, it's not as good as the others, sadly. So I think I'm actually putting Golden Darkness third. I think Momo is my favorite here. Then I think Nana is second. Then it's gonna be Golden Darkness. Then it's gonna be Yui Kotegawa. Finally, it's gonna be Haruna. And lo and behold, I'm sorry, I feel very bad for Lala, but this skin just doesn't do it for me. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I will say a honorable mention because we do see Peke in his little small humanoid form right there. Uh, so I do appreciate that. We do see Peke not in his uh, form, like hat form. So that's nice. But unfortunately, the tentacle stuff, I, I don't really care for it here. So I think top one is gonna be Momo. Is what I would say if we didn't get two more skins being announced. Because yes, those are the skins for the collab specifically. And now you know which one I prefer from one first to six. But we also had two more skins being announced. We've had the Unhold's Midday Respite. Now allow the Unhold to enjoy your moment. Naturally, you have no right to object. So here we have a skin for August von Percival. And very much like the other girls, she this is a pajama outfit. Uh, she's being uh, very cute. She's wearing another see-through um, shirt. And I think this kind of falls onto the same category as like Kodegawa's outfit, I think. Um, so the thing is that I re obviously it's her. She's fantastic. Look at how beautiful she is. So I actually think... This skin is gonna end up just above Kotegawa, but not higher than Golden Darkness. Not, she's not better than the Golden Darkness with this skin. So she's gonna go right there in fourth place for now. And finally, the last skin we have is what comes after the bell. Yeah, I got your message. I'm busy, so I'll be late. The go home without me part was unnecessary. Jeez! Look at Ulrich von Hutten. I love Ulrich. I think she is one of my favorite characters in the game. And I have currently her maid outfit that looks amazing. But this cool casual outfit that she has here. She has the platform shoes. She has the goth aesthetic. Uh, you know, a little bit of makeup, not too much. The skirt is so cute with like the chain and the hoops. Um, like the off the shoulder top, the cravat or the tie, whatever you want to call it, with the web uh, on it. She obviously still has a little bit of a rigging right there. It looks fantastic. We have a sleepy manju on top of things. And she's like, oh, really? You're going to go home without me? That wasn't necessary. Oh. Oh my god, she is a freaking perfection. This is perfection. She's sitting there, the beautiful like colors in the background, the slight side squish on the corner of the table. This is peak design. I am so sorry, collab skin. I am so sorry to Tulavu. But this is top one easily. So, the final result, when we take into consideration every single new skin that we're getting on the 20th, Ulrich von Houten is first, followed by Momo Belia Devluk with the Waking Dream. Then we have Nana Astar Devluk as third. And I think we can give a special mention to Golden Darkness, even though I don't like the, the pose with the pansy, the pansu, sorry. I think she's still best girl. And even though she's not top three, she's still top one in my heart. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, this event, now, if I had to decide 
am I gonna be spending for any of the skins? I think... I think I'm, I'm gonna resist the... Am I gonna resist the FOMO? I think I might just get the top three skins. I might get Ulrich, uh, Mom, Ulrich, Momo, and Nana skins. Maybe Golden Darkness? I haven't decided. The thing is that Golden Darkness, like the base ship girl and the base rigging is amazing. So I think I might just get the top three just because they are cute and I love them. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I should get fired for my terrible and incredibly polarizing opinions? Let me know that in the comments, like, subscribe, all the good good, and I'll catch you on the 20th when all those lovely sheep girls come out.